Yes, guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Good Enough Podcast. I'm Johnny. I'm Michael. We're here every day at 4 p.m. Yep. How was Amsterdam, my boy? Um, do you want my honest opinion? Honest opinion. Uh, terrible. <laughs> genuinely, <laughs> ter- genuinely terrible. Do you know what? Because I was there for a week, yeah, it was a stretch, bro. Yeah. It was a stretch. I was there for work, innit? So, like, that's all good and that. It's great that I get to work there, but... It's not one of them places that you can go to for long. No, one. no, no, no way. I'm saying it's a two day, bro. I think yeah. it's on the last day. Num- number two, I had sh- shit to do back here. So it was like, I'm, anxiety, pa- I'm yeah, getting yeah, anxiety, yeah. bro. I'm like, oh, well, even the podcast, like last podcast, I flew back here to do it, whatever. Yeah. I stayed an extra day after, to be fair. I was going to fly back the same day, end up staying Thursday as well, so I could sort some stuff out. But Amsterdam itself, bro. Yeah. Ain't all that. Yeah. Like I said, I don't smoke. I don't smoke weed, so. Seedy, in it. Yeah, and the CD. food is knackered. Have you have you been in them little fucking um, uh, you know the the peep show little booths? There's like a little peep show booth, yeah. Yeah. Like a sex show, but it's not the actual sex. The actual sex show is fucked. Have you seen it? No. Oh, it's, you gotta see it. It's, you gotta <laughs> take it off your list. It's, it's nuts. The geezer when we watched sex show, yeah, there was about eight boys. But, but not not fucking <laughs> like there was eight of us watching a couple eight of them, fuck, eight of and um, he couldn't get hard. Cause we was all creasing and that. He was going, sorry guys. No fuck. Yeah, you can't get hard. No way. She was off rude as well. Wait, wait. So you're watching a full, it's a full section? You're this close. What, they're, they're, what are they doing? They're chopping? Here. Chopping proper. And you couldn't get hard? Blows, everything. You couldn't get hard. Yeah, he's going, sorry guys. Shut up, creasing Johnny. We was all creasing. Mum's out, we was all creasing. You're that. joking. Swear down, you got stage you, fright. It's his <laughs> job, mate. How do you get a stage Johnny, fright? It's your job. You did it so much, supposed to do this all the time. Proper bluey or something. <laughs> Oh, um, but then peep show is jank. So there's this like, you know, like a carousel. Is that what it's called? You know, like, no, like, you know, like when there's like, there's a thing in the middle, yeah? Yeah. And then there's booths all around it. Yeah, yeah. Thing in the middle, there's some old dusty women in there. Yeah. They're naked. Ugh, she was one of the one that I saw was jank. <laughs> um, and when you're in these little booths, you just put like a pound in or something, euro, and you just, oh, yeah, you just look at the bird, she's playing with herself. But in there, there's a <laughs> box of tissues. And a bin. Nah, that shut is up. fucking disgusting. Nah, shut up, shut up. Who's having a jostle shut in there, bro? Oh shut my god. Shut up. And like the bird can see you as well. No, you're what? And there's could you see other you, people? I think there's a button where you can make it go black or you can, they can see you. No, 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 no. That place is different. Yeah. That's CD. That, for... That's bare CD. That's bare CD. Imagine all the spunk residue oh, in there, bro. No. That's disgusting. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think it's suggested to wank in there, but there's tissues in there. No, but no, 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 they're saying if you want to have a go, have a go. It's disgusting. Oh my God. I'm, no, I didn't experience any of that in Dam. I'll be honest. Obviously, I was there for different reasons, innit? But like, yeah. Pulling one out like it's an ingrown air. That is disgusting. disgusting. I ain't got any reviews on that, innit? I've only got reviews on the food and yeah, the, the food shit. The food is dead, bro. Tell you what is nice, though. Yeah. You go to that chip place. I seen it on Best TikTok. Chips in the world. I seen it on TikTok. And I, wanted to, I wanted to go there, but apparently there's when all them all them shops, all them shops that are banging on TikTok, all them restaurants and that, bro, they've, they've, the the line's like forty minutes. I know. I ain't got time for this. I know. I don't have time. That's why it's a gatekeeping thing for most Genuinely. things in life. Forty minute queues to get a, a chips. They are nice though, but it's not worth. They are, they are pocket. I remember now, but Is they it? are. They're not like. They're not. Are they mind blown to the point where it's like, oh, I need to go back no, to the good to get chip. Chips. It's a good chip. You know what I mean? Good chip. My but, chippy's got good chips, mate. I'll, I'll st- yeah, word, true. <laughs> Fat chips. Exactly you know what I'm talking about. What's, um, what's some lies that uh, your parents used to tell you and now you look back in it? Because I get this all the time where I think, <coughs> well, my dad still lies, to be fair. My dad still thinks me and my brother are kids and he can tell little lies and we're just going to just go, all right, yeah. Yeah, he makes up stuff in his head. Um, but yeah, what's some lies that your parents would have told you when you were younger, which is just absolute bollocks and, and you half believed it? Apart what? from obvious ones like Santa, oh, shit like that. So I had, I had bad ones like that. It probably stemmed my trauma all the way till now. <laughs> what, I learned the other day. I've got two. Like, well, you learned the Father Christmas is fake the other day. No, not that, not that. But like, I had, I got deep rooted trauma from this, yeah. I learned this the other day as well. Not that, not that long ago. When I used to, I, was, I used to, I grew up with my grandma, innit? I grew up at my grandma's house pretty much, yeah. And every time I was a bad kid, bro, I'll be honest. Like I gave my family hell. I got kicked out of my first school. Like, it's just mm. a bad, bad kid, yeah? Like, but every time I used to be bad, there's only one thing I was scared of. I wasn't scared of another human being. Like, bring the belt, hit me, 
mm. scream at me, but there was a monster underneath the cupboard of my oh my god of my like a, stairs. Is it? And every time I used to be well, bad, she used bro, to say that. My sister used to say it. My mom used to say it. My grandma used to say it. But what used to happen was. I just used to hear bam, 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 bam. And I didn't know where it was coming from every single time that I was being bad. And I'd start quivering, like, oh no, I'll be good now, whatever. Like I'd start crying, I'd piss myself. Yeah. I learned the other day, it was my sister on the stairs just hitting it. Fucking hell. I couldn't believe it, bro. The trauma. When you're I a kid, through, you proper terrified. You believe, nah, ter bro, I was so terrified. I, I was, it lives with me to this day. I used to be fucking absolutely terrified of horror films. Like, I remember before, I, I couldn't even watch the Fort Park Saw Ride advert. I go, out, yeah. I go out when you look at the TV, <laughs> cover my ears because I couldn't even hear. Time to play a game. I yeah. couldn't hear that. <laughs> Mum's dad, I'd be I'd literally nearly in tears. <clears throat> it was horrible. Nah, Jenny, you believe anything. I used to open that cupboard and he's like, do you want to go in there with him? Do you want to go in there with him? And I'm like, I was going back, no, no, no. Like, bro, I'm borderline. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm going to take over. Because it's, it? it's like, I'm that scared. I love stupid, stupid little lies. Do you know have you, did your parents ever tell you that turning on the light in the car was illegal? Yeah. That yeah. used to piss That's a load of bollocks. Mate, I already found out the I other still, day no, it was illegal. I still to this day, still to this day think when the light's on, I'm going to get spun. <laughs> like, I know it's not illegal, but it's just attracting attention yeah. to yourself, isn't it? But it's not illegal. Bro, I thought for a time it's illegal to drive or have the lights on when you're driving in the car. To, and I thought, I, used, I always turn it off. It's just blinding them, I think. <laughs> I think that's what it is. I used to, my dad used to say, uh, you keep pulling them faces. When the wind changes, it will get stuck like that. <laughs> Swear down. Because I used to, I used to have a habit at one point. I, when I had sore lips, I used to go ah, and you know, like crack my lips. Oh yeah, to crack them. And they'd be like, stop fucking. Oh my god, I used to do that. I used to do worse shit than it, that. You know, man, I, used to, I used to lick my lip there. My dad used to say, I want if you carry on doing that, I want to fucking put dog shit on your lip. You won't lick it no more, will you? <laughs> He said, "Do you keep doing that?" He's when a the, serious when, guy. When the wind changes, he's serious as well. And when the wind changes, he was he was like, "Your face will stay like that." You put your, and I used to think if I put my head out the window and change my face and the wind changes, it's going to start like that. <laughs> Stay down. No, no, your dad's the best though. I can't lie. He, he tells the best. I can't lie. That, that was, there was just little stupid things in it just to make you fall in line. Oh, everyone must have heard the one. Somehow that one student went to every school in the world and swung on his chair and broke his head. No. What? Oh yeah. yeah I think yeah. like when you're going Swing like that. Swing him in the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know like, what one yeah, yeah, student swung on a chair and cracked his head open. Cracked his head open. I'll Cat, do you really. No one ever. No one's ever, no done, one's that. ever done that. No one's ever Another done that. Another one, carrots help you. I say, I think that's real. I don't think that's real. No, we've got to check. I it's know. not a myth that carrots improve your night vision. Yeah, night vision, yeah, help you see in yeah, the dark. Yeah, it's a myth that they give you amazing night vision, but it does improve uh, your night vision, yeah. Yeah, healthy vision. Vitamin moment. A supports one. Yeah, it is, it is, it's true. Oh. What's your favorite vegetable? Broccoli. Broccoli, same. Yeah. Bang you get like a pan fried broccoli with yeah. soy sauce. Ooh. Yeah. What's your favorite fruit? Uh, pineapple. Mine's cherry tomato. Is it? I swear down. Well, you could just scrum it like that. Oh, mate. In my fridge, whenever I come home, I Cold open the door. Though, I can't lie. But I don't know. I think they're pucker. It tastes a bit bland. Nah. When I'm eating them, though, <clears throat> it sounds jank to say. When I'm eating them, though, after I've eaten them, if I haven't like, got the bits out of my teeth, <laughs> My mouth starts to taste a bit like dirty pussy. <laughs> what the fuck? I swear Did down. you just? It has that. What like, are you saying? It has that like coppery what? bloody taste. What the fuck are you saying? Mum's life is like an aftertaste. It's jank. <laughs> Did you just tell me? My mouth, bro. What are you just? What are you just? Like, you know, it's like acidic and like cuts your tongue a little bit. You add some tomatoes. <laughs> that's, that's what it my mouth like. starts to taste a bit like jank minge. Like yeah. Swear down. You, you know what about that, innit? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've had some terrible. Yeah, I have. I've had some terrible ones. Yeah. Johnny ran into some bad ones, man. Yeah, what, what other things did my mum and dad tell me? I can't lie, there's not much for me. Like, obviously, Santa, are Tooth Fairy, all that nonsense. Yeah, I used to believe in the Tooth Fairy. I told my nephew from early, none of this is real, bro. I used to believe Santa <laughs> until I woke up in the middle of the night in my old house. I was like 10, 9. Yeah. Went into the front room. My dad's eating the biscuits that we left out for Santa. <laughs> Just eating them blatantly. <laughs> and after that, I stopped believing in him. You feel, well, we know it is now. Well, we know it is now. I can't lie, I don't even know when I stopped believing it, but it's just, it's not that disappointing to be fair. No, nah, it's not. But I told my nephew from day, I said early doors. Yeah. This ain't real, brother. Just let him know. It's me. Yeah. I'm full. 
I'm forking out for you. Your I think up until out. maybe like eight, it's all right. And after yeah, that. Yeah, I let him do it up to then. then even one that. time, when, even for his eighth birthday, I came dressed as Spider-Man. Did you? Yeah. Oh, bro, let me tell you the story. Flipping out. So we had we, we had out a hall for him for his for his for his eighth birthday. Yeah. All his mates were there. Went to my old school that I, the one I told you I got kicked out. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. My sister's got me a whole Spider-Man outfit and that dress up, come through. There's like little um, you know, little apparators that you had as in the in the halls at school that yeah, you could climb on. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, was yeah, there. yeah, yeah. So I had to climb on them and that it was lit. But then so this is <laughs> this is what's happened, yeah. Obviously, I've come, I've done, I've done the thing, you know what I mean? It's sick, wicked. My nephew's going absolutely crazy, all his friends are going crazy. Now everyone wants pictures, isn't it? Cool. Picture time. I've come down, everyone's taking their picture or whatever not. This woman's child, very much child about five years, but about, no, about seven, eight years old. I say she's probably younger. She looked like a younger, she didn't look like my nephew's age, yeah. She's come over. I'm standing in a Spider-Man suit, innit? So obviously, you know what I mean? Yeah. I can't have the bulge type thing. You know what I mean? It's, it's just there. Yeah. It's just, this woman's kid has come over to me, take a picture of me, and just placed her hand directly on my pole. Oh my God. And I, bro, I'm, I'm standing there like, like what's going on? Like, I well, need didn't to move her hand. Of course, no, I moved out of the way completely. But then You're obviously, there for a bit. she's gone like, <laughs> like crazy. 10 more seconds in this and I'm going to get angry. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I'm like, I'm like, st I'm like, I'm panicking at this point in it. So I've like moved out the way and she's like this. Obviously she's just trying to go like that so she can like- Yeah, innocently, yeah. Innocently course, like yeah. hold Spider-Man, do you know what I mean? But then literally. obviously, <laughs> as I've moved out the way, bro, as I've moved out the way, she's like, come close. Cause she's, she's, she's felt that she can't, like she's not close to Spider-Man anymore. Yeah, she's yeah. moved over again and put it straight back there. And a picture has been taken, bro. Oh as soon God. as she's done it, there's a picture. Of me, obviously, you can't see my face in the Spider Man Thanks, suit. Fuck, you can't see your face. Little girl's got my fucking bulge in a death grip. <laughs> bro, it exists. Oh my God, bro. I couldn't believe it, bro. I couldn't believe it. I was panicking. I get that deleted, wiped off. I was panicking. I was device. panicking. It's the, the, the little girl's mum. And she's like laughing at it, whatever not. And I'm like, yeah, it was funny. I had whatever not. But I'm thinking that like, you need to delete yeah, that. Yeah, that. That made me feel uncomfortable. I was so uncomfortable, bro. As soon as that, as soon as that was done, I, I I I just went upstairs and changed. Cried. I was so upset. Bro. Had a wank. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, was that is a horrible feeling, you know. Oh, I bet. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I don't know how. I, I just remember that now. Like I, I even feel weird sometimes about like even as my niece and she's like four, uh, she's like, "Can I have a kiss?" And like she'll kiss me on the lips. I even feel I feel like she's getting me old for that. I hear it. Do you know what I mean? You're getting me I, 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 I don't know if it's us. The other day I saw, that, that's an interesting point, yeah. The other day I saw a video. I don't even know, if, you might have seen it, but <coughs> there was this like, um, this family and there was a dad and a daughter and the daughter's like run up to the dad and she's like jumped on him when he's sitting down and he's like grabbed her like that and then give him a kiss, whatever. Not. Daddy, daughter? daddy. About 10, 10, 11. Yeah, a bit weird. Looked about 10, 11. And then um, everyone underneath is like, some people are like, oh, the world's out of touch with affection these days. And then other people are like, oh, that's, that's, um, that's, that's mad that what you've though, done. Yeah. That's mad doing that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's mad. Yeah. I would say so. Yeah, that's weird. I think- Running I, up and giving them a hug and I, even I maybe thought, giving them one kiss. Yeah, that's all right, I, I, felt, I felt in my head when I watched it, yeah. I felt uncomfortable. Was he getting his fingers in there too? <laughs> on the back entrance, innit? <laughs> he, he, was, he was, bro, it was, it was like this. And he did give her a tap as well when she got No, up. he didn't. I swear to you, I could try and find a video for you. Oh but, my God. But genuinely, uh, yeah, there was, I was reading all the comments and I was thinking, oh, I wonder if that's like, is that, was that normal? Like, I don't know if my, nah, well, my parents didn't like <laughs> any love from their parents. <laughs> I can't lie, my family's like a strictly like militant family. Yes, yeah, I, can't, I can't remember the last time I've, I've hugged my mum. Oh, no, no, I hug my mum all the time. It's mad, isn't it? I think, do you remember that time? You won't remember this. I think you might anyway. The other, like this was like two years ago, I'd say. I was mm -hmm. sitting on my sofa and I was having a conversation with someone. I can't remember who it is. And then, and then um, we was talking and I was like, I ain't, like we, it made me basically realise that I have not touched a member of my family in years. Like Where? physically touched. Where? I don't know. So touched, then, not even like a wait, come here. The last time I can tell you, the last time I touched my mum, 
it was it was during lockdown at my sister's birthday and I put my arm over my mum to take a picture. That was the last time I touched her. Really? Yeah, that was lockdown. Why? We don't, I don't, I don't, I realise that it's not, it's not them, it's actually me. I think I'm messed up. I even hug my dad sometimes. Like when I come back from like a trip or something, be like, he, he don't know how to do it, but good to have you back, son. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. that's it. Cause you know, he's a bit like, he's yeah, hard yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know what I mean? But I think it's me, you know? And and I, I remember I voice noted you one time and I was like, Johnny, I was like, Johnny, I was like, do you, do you hug your mum? Yeah, you did, yeah. And then you was like, what? and you voice noted me back. You was out. You was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Do I, I like, hug my mum? Do I hug what my mum? stupid question. So I was like, no. I voice noted it back and I'm like, like, <clears throat> do you, like, do you hug your mum? <laughs> do, you, do you hug your mum? Like, in general, do you just hug her? And he's like, and then you explained to me, you was like, well, yeah, like, so, like I actually do. Yeah, yeah, when I enter a room or something, yeah, she's like, cooking or something, I can't be out and hug her. Yeah. Do you yeah. know how mad that is for me? Like, I can't imagine doing that. No, I'm definitely more like, touching No, but that's, not, what I'm saying is, I'm not normal. Why do you reckon that is? I think I grew, I grew up that way, like a militant guy. Like, like, <laughs> No, genuinely. Sounds like you're a savage. No, no, but I'm I not. I mean, militant guy. I mean, to my family, like, to my family, I'm like, like, proper militant guy. Like, my grandma, yeah. Is there one else that in your family? No. So, so it made me, it made me realise that it's just me. When, when, I, when I grew up with my grandma, yeah, I used to, like, me and my sister used to come through the door and like, we, used to, we used to walk through the door and my, my sister used to be like, oh, hi, grandma, whatever not. And my, my grandma would start making conversation with her. If I walked through the door and I went, hi, grandma, she'll go, why? Genuinely, she just she just does it. She just did it. And I used to try and make convo with her. Do you because you're a man? Yeah. And not a woman, yeah. Yeah. Literally. She'd never do anything nice in front of If she wanted to give me money, she'd never hand it to me. She'd give it to my mum and tell my mum to give it to Is me. Is it? Why is that? Dunno. Grew up I grew up like no I was a little lonely kid, bro. I grew up no affection. Mad. Like not like nothing. Nothing. Wait, is that why you don't like affection now? It might be like I'm tapping into I love affection. Like I'm fully like. tapping into my to my, uh, like, to my, like, to my inner self when I'm think when I talk about this, yeah, because I really want to know what, like, why I'm, yeah, I'm like that now. Why am I? Not, why am I like that now? Like I used to, like I don't genuinely, don't like being touched. Yeah, I know you don't. Well, even by your boys. Nah, different. Yeah, because it's, it's yeah. not like a yeah. Yeah, different. Don't mind that. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, I, if anything, that sounds mad. It sounds <laughs> weird, but like, if anything, yeah, I'm gonna say it. Shut up. I like being touched by my boys. Like, <laughs> mad. but you get what I'm trying yeah, to say. I like you saying. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, I like that. Like, you know what I mean? Give a good little art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See yeah, you later. Yeah, hello, yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever. Especially if you're having a moment. If you're out with your your pals or you're on holiday, good times. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean. You want to yeah, hug your yeah, mates yeah, and that. Hundred yeah, percent. I like that. I like yeah. that stuff. But you like, gotta have brotherly love. I yeah, you gotta have general, brotherly love. That keeps me. That keeps me going, bro. At least I got that. I I think I like that part. Anything else? I can't, uh, like, I can't. even though I've been in a relationship, <clears throat> so have you. And I do love that affection and stuff. I can't like when you're single, you get proper close to your mates, like proper. Yeah, like, yeah, more yeah. Than yeah, more. what you would if you had, had a girl. Yeah. And like, bro, I tell my mates I love them all the time. Yeah, yeah. It's normal. Mm. It's difficult like, sometimes. You're, yeah, you're weirdo though if you can't tell your mates you love you. Oh, that's a bit gay, bro. Like, yeah, nah, I don't talking do that. about, bro. Yeah, I, I, I say I love them. I, I tell I love my them. mates I'm proud of them all the time. Yeah, Give yeah. Them a hug. Yeah. I've even kissed my mates on the cheek sometimes when I'm drunk. Yeah, I hear it. It's it's Bosh that mate. I love you, my brother. Love you, mate. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That's good stuff. Yeah. I just I just <clears throat> outside of that, I can't lie. I need to figure it out. You do. Come on, let's go counselling. Do it. Is that is, no, but that's know, a weird habit you have, to be fair. What? That's a weird habit. That is a weird habit. Yeah. Like, bro, I I It's not that weird. I have some fucking terrible habits. Like I've got OCD in it, so some of my habits make me feel like I'm an absolute Crazy person, yeah. Yeah. They've got better as, as I've got older because I've learned to, to you, deal with you, it. You deal with it, yeah. But bruv, I used to have to, I used to not be able to go sleep until I'd gone downstairs to the back door and locked it four times. I have to go one, two, three, four, lock it, five, oh, and yeah, I hold it there OCD. and let go. And I have to see if it feels all right. And more time it wouldn't because with OCD now I've learned, the more you actually do the habit, the more you fuel it and then it just, it's it a cycle, gets, a cycle. Yeah. I used to go upstairs and tell myself, don't go back downstairs, please. And I'll be fighting it in my head. And I'll be like, I have to, I have to, I have to, or my science gonna happen. It's just like a weird anxiety yeah, feeling exactly. on me. Go do it again to the point where I broke the door lock over years. Is I it? broke it. And so we're on our back door for years, we changed, we got an extension now. But for years, there was no lock on our back door because of me. 
Because you just kept on. <laughs> and like the next door, I had to close four times and that had to be closed, the door to the stairs. When I clean my teeth, I still do this now. I clean my teeth and I spit four times. I have to do it four times. Out my window before I go to bed, I have to open my window and spit. It's not about the actual spitting. It's just, it's the, just you have to the number ritual, thing. The, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise I can't, can't relax. Is it? Weird habits. I used to do a proper weird one. Fucking hell. Like when I was like younger and I really didn't know what was going on in my head. I was like eight. I fucking uh, used to, <laughs> used to keep Joe up all the time. Cause I used to do this thing. Yeah. This, no one actually knows this yeah. So I used to do this thing where I used to try and save a good memory. So my, my thoughts are dark in it. I used to lay in bed and think about my mum and dad dying in a car crash a lot. Oh, mate. Like, I, used to, I used to think about my mum and dad dying and not being there when I was like 11. And I used to try and, all I could think about is that, all I could think about is that. So I'd just be wide awake and then I'd try, get a good thought. So I'd say to myself, go. I'd say, go. Think of a good thought, like something happy. Stop. And try, for it's me, focused. that was solidifying that thought in that go stop. Was thingy, but like I said, OCD, the more you do it, the more you fuel the, the problem. Yeah. And all it would do is just make me all night be going, go, on, stop. Go, stop. Like I was insane. And oh Joe my. used to say to me, what the fuck are you? Well, he didn't say what the fuck, but he was yeah. like that 10. He was like, what are you doing? He was like, shut up. And I couldn't, couldn't. I had to, otherwise, if I didn't do that, then my mum and dad are going to die. Yeah. yeah. I used to even do something like where I used to do four whistles, I used to go, and if it didn't feel right in my mouth, I did it all night, like long. Oh my that God. That was exhausting. Yes. To the point where my mum took me to a shrink because she thought I was nutty. Was not, yeah. <clears throat> and my mum was like, yeah, you might, when I said I got voices in my head that kind of tell me what to do, obviously that was the wrong way to describe yeah. it. She was, he thought I had schizophrenia. Oh my God. And I tell my mum, I have not got that. It's not like voices. It's my own voice telling me I got like, it's a feeling. It's a feeling. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot better now. I think with just mental health, you need to understand your own things, but I've got some fucking weird habits. But they're just normal now. Like, That's full know. OCD. <clears throat> yeah. That's full on OCD. Proper. Oh my God. Proper bad. But oh, the one I still do now, I've got two bedside tables to my bed. Obviously, they're both wood. Um, and I'll think about something like my dad getting cancer again. And I'll be like, oh, I'd open my eyes. Touch that, touch that, touch that, touch that. Fingers crossed. And I go back to sleep. Have to do it. Even though, even though I know, I tell myself, I said, nothing's going to happen. He's not going to die. He's not going to get cancer. I know these thoughts are wrong. But it's just more the feeling in my chest of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need it has to, to, it has it's to like, done. oh, well, I might as well do it. What am I fighting? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It don't it takes two seconds, but it's like, uh, it gets the thought out of my head. Oh, man. Weird habits. That is all. <laughs> it's long as straight. And my OCD is not even bad. Some people, some, some people. Some people's, yeah, I know. To be fair, mine is really bad. I can't lie, but. I feel like now, now, now. No, it, I deal with it more, but I'm 25, bruv. Yeah. To be fair, you, you, you work for it. You know what I mean? When I was in a relationship, yeah. I prefer this year, when I was with Olivia fucking when we was first together. Because I didn't really know what I had. I knew I had OCD, but I didn't know like to the extent of what I had, where it makes you feel guilty and you beat yourself up over stuff that you didn't even do because the voice in your head is telling you you're such a bad person. Mm. And I remember one time <clears throat> I walked past this girl in Oxbridge High Street. She was 10 out of 10. And fucking we made, I was looking at her and then as she walked past, she made eye contact with me as well. As soon as she did, I thought, oh my God, why have we just looked at each other with crossed eyes? And the whole fucking rest of two weeks, I had so much guilt on me because my own brain and OCD was telling me, you've just cheated, basically. You're such oh a bad person. If you have the potential to do that, you'd probably cheat if you was drunk on holiday, blah, blah, blah. All these voices in my head telling me this, that, whatever, to the point of where I don't even want to cuddle her in bed because I feel unbelievably guilt-ridden. <laughs> oh to the point where after like two weeks, she was like, what's wrong? There's something on your mind. There's something on your mind. I fucking nearly burst out into tears and told her, I know you're not going to care about this. I know you're not going to care. I was like, I ain't in it. I was like, I know you're not going to care, yeah. But the other day, when I walked past, I, I, I looked at another girl and she looked back at me. And she almost started laughing. She was like, so? Yeah. She was like, I don't care. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, thank fuck you don't care. She was like, why would I care? I was like, because I've been beating myself up so much for that shit. <clears throat> she was like, you don't need to tell. And I, I kind of, in a way, when I look at it now, probably made it a bit difficult for her because it was like a reoccurring thing where she'd now know that's my OCD. But I'd have to bring it up or tell her if something like that happened. Yeah. Even though, like, because I'd feel guilty because I want to yeah. be as loyal as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is sneaky to be fair. Oh, mate. Just, it was my OCD. I wouldn't do that now, obviously. You can look at who you want. Yeah, you can. Like, if she'd go out and look at boys, I couldn't give a fuck. Yeah, but if you did it. And I just felt bad for it. That's deeper, you know. <laughs> That's actually deeper. 
used to drive me insane. No, he just, just no, he said, no, first 25 <clears throat> minutes, if someone clicked on this for the first time, yeah. I think we're fucked. We think we are finished. Yeah, word. Please watch different episodes, do you know what word. I mean? Just watch the one below or the one below that, like genuinely. We're not even that tapped. Uh, <laughs> just, what, uh, well, a little bit, you know what uh, I mean? Words. First of all, I said, oh, no affection. Second of all, well, <laughs> I touch my, my, my grandma never showed me affection. <laughs> Bro, but it's true though. Nah, Johnny, genuinely, like, I think I've actually got a problem. Actually, do you know what? Oh my God, I just unlocked a memory of mine. See, when you're younger, yeah, and you first get a burden that like, you want, and like, you haven't done much sexual things and you want to experience like, things that you actually come to someone. Yeah. Have you ever fucking done um, like dice position sex? Yeah. Same. What, did you have like with a wheelbarrow and all that in there? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah no, yeah. I had bare shit in there, but you'd write it down and right. the number lays on. Yeah, yeah, did I remember you, that. Did you, used to play, did you used to play games? Like actual, like, um, what's the ones I used to play? Like, you know, like the card games and that. No, I thought that was shit. I did buy them before though. No, nah, they were like little, little four play ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to like, oh, do this for 60 seconds. Just put them all got... on blows and then just don't tell her, <laughs> innit? Oh, look what we've drawn again. Oh, mate. Fucking Fuck hell. You know. <coughs> it's the game, babe. Sorry, babe. It's the game, innit? How did you, uh, how did you lose your virginity? Um, shit. Fucking, uh, just some <laughs> girl, just some girl off Insta. And I was chatting to her. Is it? Just got a two hour bus to her yard. <laughs> you do that though, innit? Yeah, I was catting to her. Raging bit, horn on, innit? I remember I was 16, just turning 17 that week. And I was like, I'm, I can't be 17 and, and <laughs> I need to lose it. I did lose it when I was 17, but like I was rushing when I was 16 to try to do it. But I only had a year gap. I hit puberty 15, so it's like, yes, is that fucking, I was, I, I was at the back of the race. Really? You know what I mean? I had to catch up. You know what I mean? So I, so I, I two went hour bus to a crib. Two hour bus to a crib. Our room stunk us now. <laughs> Bad. What was it? What was she that like, proper? Just was she a Must child? have been a Jezebel because fucking, uh, I was asking her to give me brain because I never had, did I? No, I, no, I don't think I've really had any brain by then. I was just fingering girls at house parties in the jeans, isn't it? All cramping up your fingers and that. How <laughs> yeah, shit yeah. is that, man? Because you got to go like that, look. Oh, it's you terrible. Go like that, oh, you're not even touching me, you're rubbing a fire. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's all I'd really done. I licked the girls, really. I, um, but yeah, I asked her to give me blows, and she was like, no, I don't really like doing it. I said, oh, have you done it before? She said, yeah, I've done it to like six boys. I've realised I don't oh, like fuck it. Hell. Cheers, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, if you, if you realise you don't like it, then... I've done, I've done it to like six boys. Like, you can't, she can't give it to you. She can't give it to so me, this, no. what, After six, that's when she realised yeah, she didn't like she realized. it. Yeah, <laughs> apparently. Um, I'm dying. Wore Johnny and everything. It was shit. Stug us out. Room what was room Stained my tongue when I licked her out. Oh my God. And that's the one where I said I went to the bathroom and I was brushing my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? Disgusting. <coughs> Disgusting. Pure BO. Like, like you're not the fresh BO. Oh, when I, I went Barcelona recently. Oh my God. <laughs> There's these two young girls, must have been about 13, 14. They had no right to smell like that. They fucking stunk. Like, like, oh, it was like, oh. like we stand near them in a the queue and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> that bad. Like, you know when it's not fresh BO, like they're not dripping. It's mustard, it's musty BO. It's They've like, not washed in three days. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it was really like strong. It's like, strong. It blocks your fucking nose. Oh mate. <laughs> Bad, like chemical, bruv. Thinking, Jesus. <laughs> so they no I ain't right. the, like, they was in front of us at the queue. I thought, I ain't getting on the same seats they got on. Fucking hell, start melting. <laughs> Terrible, so bruv. you got no right. Nah, genuinely, young you have no girls, right. You got no girls. right to smell that. Genuinely, your parents should have sorted you out better. Mm. <laughs> like, your kids, you should not be smelling like that. Oh, my God. Disgusting. So, Disgusting. Nah, genuinely, you know you've got bad luck with smells, isn't it? No, nah, I've just got a nose on me, bruv. You've got bad luck with smells. Got a hoot like a dash hound. <laughs> Swear down, bruv. But no, but they did stink. Even my boy, who ain't got a good, that good of a nose, was like, he was like, fuck, fuck you know? it out. Yeah. Like, it was like, this is how far we, away we jumped from the what girls. Was that, and I, it was like, oh, man. <laughs> you have to turn your head. He was like, oh. What vile. was you queuing up for? A ride. Oh, is it? Yeah, it was at a theme park. I don't, I don't, oh, mate. Stunk. I think it was Shambhala. Or Furious Baker. Disgusting. Port Ventura. Yeah, well, me losing my one when, when, when as bad as yours. What was yours? You done it in the fucking school, wasn't it? Nah, it was in the park. Park. First one was in the park. Shit in it. Oh, bro, it was terrible. It was terrible. Like genuinely, I don't even want to go into the the the, the depths of it because I felt like personally, I was <coughs> I was manipulated into doing it. Innit? <coughs> <laughs> I was, but she was so ready for it. Like, was she older or younger? 
older, but like same kind of age, oh, but yeah, it was months, yeah. months apart. Yeah, I say. Yeah. yeah, and um, when I got to the park, I, I was so overwhelmed. I just had no like control of what I was doing. She was shaking. She, yeah, she done it all for me. Parker. And I was like, this is sweet. But yeah, she passed away now. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Deeper. How does she die? Oh, mate, Jack, you want to know? She, she was, uh, you ever heard of a place called, people would know about this, a Harrow Viewpoint? You know where Harrow Viewpoint yeah, is? Yeah, of course, of course, yeah. Okay, cool. She died there. So she used to work at Anando's near... Harrow? Near, near, yeah, still call it that. Kind of near me as well. I and mean, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, she, she went, her boyfriend picked her up, Honda. Drew, Drew drove to Harrow Viewpoint in the night, whatever not. Probably something that they normally do every day. Probably smoked up there. You know how people would smoke up there, whatever not. Chill, cars are on, you can see the view and that. And they fell asleep in the car. And uh, the heating was on in the car, right? And I think either the, like, all the emissions and that were, were not good in the cars. The cars were quite older. And they got carbon monoxide poisoning Fucking from the heating. Hell. Both died in their sleep. Oh my days. Found, got found in the morning, cars steaming up. Someone's been, engine's just been on all night, all the way through to the morning, just found, just found there. Fucking hell, that's terrible. How bad is that, innit? Yeah, did I tell you the story of when the carbon monoxide alarm went off of mine and my dad told me to fix up? I'm sure I told yeah, you Yeah, you did, you did. I said that on the podcast. Nah, nah, nah. I must have said it on the podcast. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't. You told me oh, well, outside. This, um, this is to my dad, yeah. So... My mum and dad were away for the weekend. I think they was in fucking Torquay, yeah? Or Cornwall or something like that. So it's just me and my brother in the house. And um, <clears throat> so it's about one in the morning and all the smoke alarms start going off in my house. So I'm thinking, what the fuck? Like every single one's going off. So I've gone look, check the house. Obviously there's no fire, there's no smoke. Thinking, what the fuck? Trying to press the things, they're not going off. I've then rang my dad. I was like, dad, all the, all the carbon monoxide alarms are going off in the house. Like, should I call, like, the gas people yes, or not? And he was like, no, no, don't be fucking silly. He was like, it's, a, it's an annual test. <laughs> they, they, they do it for an annual test. <laughs> like, they no. want to make sure, they'll go off in a minute. Half an hour later, nothing's gone off. Me and Joe are waiting in the garden. Because I think, uh, just, what the fuck does he know? There's yeah. clearly carbon monoxide and the thing. I've um, called the gas up people like myself. Said, yeah, all my alarm's going off, blah, 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 blah. Geezer's come around. Looked at the boiler, they all sit on top of the boiler. He was like, yeah, your whole house is full of carbon monoxide. He said, open all the windows, et cetera, et cetera. He said, if the alarm's only just started going off, just open windows for a bit, you go back to sleep, like give it half an hour, come back in the house. So anyway, I've done all that. I rang my dad up and I said, annual test chair. I said, I've just had the gas keys around. I said, we need a new boiler. We've had the boiler 15 years. I said, the whole house is full of carbon monoxide. What's his response? Oh, I'm so glad you're safe, Johnny. No, that one is once, you fucking idiot. He's like, you can pay for the new boiler now. So you can pay for it. I said, why am I paying for the boy? He was like, it's gonna cost me 1,500 quid. So I ain't paying for it, John. You wanted the new thing. I said, you Mom's fucking like, idiot. I said, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Just opened the window. He said, we, li we, we don't live in central London. I said, there's no fucking carbon monoxide in there. He said, you just love spending money. Do you know how funny that he is? No, he's so funny. It's unbelievable. That's on my mum's ad. That was his response. I said, you fucking idiot. He said, you, you can pay for it. I said, I said I no chance. You better cast people around and they've told you there's carbon monoxide in the crib. He said, you fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. It's an annual test. Annual test. Annual test. What annual are you talking about? Trip. It's like he just makes he stuff makes up. He makes shit up. And Jin, when he convinced himself, nah. it, it's never happened before. Nah. Never so, happened before. Never been an annual test before. Never. But, then, but this, year. Go, this year, this it's year, an annual test. Annual test. He was like, the bloody old street is doing it. There ain't, it's just me, our house. <laughs> I'm crying. That's how funny. He's <laughs> so funny, bro. Rather us die than to save money on a boiler. Money. Yeah, <laughs> than get a new boiler. <laughs> Fucking, it was like three in the morning. I was just <laughs> so aggy, bro. <laughs> Hey, that is so funny. Do you know what? And I remember in the morning when he was driving home, he generally rang me up and he was in such a mood. He was like, we're coming on now, John. He was like, you're paying for a new boiler, you know? <laughs> did you end up paying for a new boiler? Fuck it, did not. Did I, I didn't know. <laughs> did I fuck? What am I paying for a new boiler for? Am I thought it broke? <laughs> you bought it 15 years ago. What'd you expect? <laughs> we only had to have boilers for like 10 years. It's true. You know what I mean? Like, oh. it just, ah, oh, the things, like, Fucking, I was thinking about the other day, get one of them electric bikes, yeah? Yeah. And they're like 800 quid. I don't mind paying that. This is how much on average they are. And he was like, 
why are you spending 800 pound? I got, yeah, look, I got a lovely one on eBay, some busted up fucking old <laughs> shitty Carrera, like, with no electricity, nothing like that. Or I've got two in the garden that have been there for about seven years. Yeah, go get some WD-40, rub it on them, just use them. <laughs> like, mate, we don't live in fucking squalor. I've got a bit of money, but yeah. I don't mind sp spending the money on, on, on fucking... Do you know what I'm like, Or like, when I go out, like, I'd obviously I do all my events in East because that's where all the venues are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, they'd be like, where, where, or like, even when I come here for the podcast, yeah. this is where the studio is. Yeah. Like, where are you going then? Oh, uh, Hoxton for the podcast. Huh? You're mad. <laughs> you want to go all the way to East London to film a podcast? You're mad. He's like, what about all that diesel? <laughs> I don't care, Dad. It's my car. I will pay it. <laughs> Fucking hell. Like, what about all that diesel? <laughs> Things like, he's like, you're mad. I won't go that far. Or like, if it's like 10 o'clock at night and like me and Joe be like, oh yeah, we're going out to get a milkshake or get some food or something like that. It'll be actually in disbelief and shock that, doing that we're that. doing that. It's, it, it's 10 o'clock at night. What do you want to go out for? You're eating again. It's fucking... That's right. I oh, so, love so when you're 25, you didn't go out past 10. He's like, oh, well, oh, 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 oh. No, I actually love him. I actually love him. I actually love him. You want to go all the way to East London? You're so mad. Podcast. You're mad. You're mad. So what about all that diesel? I don't know why you don't stay local. Just Look fucking what? shit. It's the office is here to film the podcast. Exactly. What, what, what do you want to do? Exactly. He wants us to pick it up and Or like, he'll go like, how do you, oh yeah, another way to Oxford. And he'll be like, what you want to do is you go down to A40, Marlborough Road, do this. I was like, dad, I'll just put it in my sat nav. Yeah. He's like, no, no, but like, obviously the quicker route. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to remember it all. This is hard work. No, I actually think that parents are actually all the same. It's you know, hard work, Jamie. mate. But your dad is something special. You know how many people I haven't got? We, we've even got DMs on our podcast page saying people to get your, get your dad on the podcast. No, pod. never, never. It will never happen. Shit, but what do you reckon, yeah? It'd end up getting me cancelled. What do you reckon if we got a, no filter. If we got a phone call? A phone call in would be all right. Yeah, all right. I had the phone yes! Call. Hey, everyone. What am I going to say, though? Everyone needs to fucking thank me. What am I going to say, like, though? We, we've He's got, not always angry. Got, no, you've got to do something no, to no, round him up. Bleep his name. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Bleep his name. <laughs> bleep his name, please. We got him on the blow up. Yeah, but I don't know what to say to him. All right, cool. Look, 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 look. Wait, don't call yet. Don't call yet. We've got to think about this strategically because this is a big thing. We, this, is, this is a main clip, by the way. Big clip. Big clip right now. So what I'm saying is... Oh, if he's indoors, yeah, he always gets the, the, the littlest thing, yeah? So sometimes when I'm driving home um, and I want to cook food when I get in, I need to check if there's ingredients for the food I want to cook. So, you... so I'll ring him. He's sitting on the sofa. My kitchen's like, damn. I know. It's... <laughs> yeah, right there. I'll ring him and be like, can you check if you've got chicken, please? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> please. Making please. me get up. Please. And then, and then make, him, make him sit back down and then ask him for something else as well. Let's say go... Put it right in the fucking speaker. Can you? you right, John? You right, are you at work? You all right? You all right? When, when, are you at work? Yeah, what's up? Uh, when are you home? I don't know, John. Oh, I wanted to check if there's stuff in the fridge. If there was what? If there was, the if there was shit in the fridge, yeah. What did you want to know? Well, it don't matter because you're not indoors, are you? Yeah, but what first grade memory, you remember that? Uh, I wanted to make some chicken tritzo pasta. Chicken tritzo pasta? Um, there's two bits of chicken. You've got a good memory. I'm going to double check that when I go in. <laughs> Do you want to check it? Do you have a bet on it? No, nah, I ain't having a bet. Uh, I know, because I saw your mum take one out this morning for Joe's uh, lunch. All oh, right. There's two bits left. What about chorizo? Chorizo? There. There's uh, none. All right. Anything else? No. A sweet corn? All right. We been to the gym? Nah, I'm just finishing a podcast. Yeah. Are you, are you not indoors then? No, I'm leaving in a minute. Yeah, all right then. All right, sweet. Um, See, he's calm today. Fuck! He's, calm he's today. in a good mood today. Hey, you know what? Today. This has got to be a segment now. Well, it's got to be up. a segment. Ring Every up. week we got... We got... I've got to catch him in a bad mood. I have you to. have to catch him in a bad mood. I have to. No, but we we found we found something new though. Listen, I'm saying every week we got the we got the Johnny's dad segment. Maybe ring him up. Maybe until we catch him in a bad mood. Yeah, till he brings you up, John. But you can see in his voice how he was speaking. It. He would. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he's actually a lovely guy. So no, he actually is. Yeah. He's such a nice guy. Well. <laughs>
<laughs> sometimes. Well, sometimes. 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 But yeah, I think we should end uh, my dad not fucking giving us the buzz he wanted. We'll get it next week, man. We'll get it next week. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please have a like if you did. Subscribe today to join. I was about to say join the Kesarami. Join a good enough join podcast. Join a good enough podcast. Yeah, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you.